How's it going guys? My name is Fathrin. Welcome back. I'm finally back from my grandparents' house. Merry Christmas everybody. I know it is a little bit late. I do apologize. I was not able to bring any of my equipment with me to record. But yeah, I'm sorry. No videos for a week. There's nothing I could really do about that. But yeah, Merry Christmas Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's because it is finally 2015 and with 2015 I think there needs to be something new awesome and special so we are on this brand new server it is called ECB you may know it because I recorded a video called Call of Duty zombies on this server on the zombie part of the server but there's also survival section which I really like I have played on it before and they recently did a map reset so I'm really excited about this I'm gonna have a brand new series here if you guys like it make sure if you guys enjoy this make sure you just hit that like button I'd really appreciate appreciate that um, and yeah so recently they did a server reset as I said before and what happened was I had played on the server a decent amount before they have MCMMO if you don't know what MCMMO is it is a leveling up somewhat of a skills type of plugin that which the, that basically the more you do something the higher level you get in it and you get a bunch of awesome stuff so my MCMMO levels are kept which is pretty awesome, but the whole map is reset. So I'm going to quickly jump in, and this is going to be something that is going to be very, very cut. I'm going to cut it a lot. There's going to be a whole bunch of cuts just so we can get down to not as much the personal stuff, but the professional stuff. This is going to be more professional, unlike the survival series I'm doing called Typhatheros Tavern. So anyways, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to quickly rotate my view. Okay, here we go. Excellent here. We're in this beautiful little spawn. And basically, all you have to do is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, you have to jump in this nether portal and you will get randomly spawned around the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in this nether portal, hopefully I'm going to look for some cave systems, find some awesome stuff, maybe a few diamonds along the way, that'd be pretty sick, and I'm going to come back with some supplies and I'm going to give you our game plan. Let's go! My goodness, after all the cave systems I've explored, only one diamond? Honestly, that's pretty pitiful. I don't know what I have to say about that, but that's just pretty pitiful. I have finally finished the mining trip, completing all of the stuff that I need to do, getting all the like, ores, materials, and stuff like that. And honestly, it was pretty good. It went really well. As you can tell from my inventory, we got four stacks of iron, which is pretty sick. Only one diamond. Pretty disappointing, but oh well. As well as two and a half stacks of coal and an extra four iron. So overall, actually, we did very well. I'm in this little cave right here. I may do a bit more digging. But next, we're going to have to find a place to set up our new home. I have an awesome idea for it. It's going to be really sick. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Alright, so actually, let me quickly get out of here. I'm just going to quickly grab some cobblestone and let's see where we are. We look like we're in a Sahara biome. This is not cobblestone. <laughs> I'm not used to this faithful texture pack. This is probably going to be the permanent texture pack I'm going to be using for this series, but I'm not completely sure. Alright, yeah. So we have this beautiful little uh, this little biome right here. And this is kind of what I came to and I kind of liked. I'm not totally sure yet because I, I have a, do have a pretty awesome house in mind and I'm really not sure uh, where exactly I want it to go. And I do apologize if there are any quick lag spikes. The reason for that is, is since this is a server reset, um, you know, there has been so many loading chunks that people have been loading in all across the server, and that affects everyone. So a bit of a problem. People are exploring a lot, getting to new places, all that kind of stuff. So yes, let's quickly eat this cooked mun, and we'll continue on. To be honest, guys, the more I'm in this biome, the more I absolutely love it. I mean, look at this. There's a beautiful waterfall coming down from right there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so impressed with this biome. It has massive amplified places. This is not an amplified world, guys. This is just the regular thing. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That is so cool. I don't know, guys. This little section right here... This looked like a pretty good candidate for where I'm going to settle. So right now, I'm probably going to set home right here. This is going to be our current location where we're going to prepare ourselves for some pretty awesome stuff. And yeah, so I'm pretty pumped. So right now, we're going to be building a house that's made out of nether quartz and acacia wood, along with stone bricks and some other stuff like that. So right now, I'm gathering up some acacia wood as we speak. And I'm going to have to go to the nether, through a nether portal, obviously, and quickly grab some, um, you know, some of that beautiful nether quartz. Because I really do love the look and texture of nether quartz. It looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, and yeah, so it looks like someone may have settled over here. Need to be a bit cautious of that. This, is, this PvP is on in this server. So I do warn you that, but it is not a PvP server. It's a survival server. Attacking people is allowed. Though, uh, if you do it under unfair terms, you can get a bit of a warning message, and you can get banned if you do it too much. 
Anyways, yes. Alright, so this looks to be coarse dirt, actually. Yep, it's coarse dirt. I don't know how well it's going to work out, but yeah, so far this place is looking really sick, in all honesty. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep on mining, gathering supplies, and I will be right back. As you can see, I'm precariously on the edge of this lava pit, and I'm spooked out. But however, we must further what the heck? Dudes, I'm feeling deja vu here. The exact same thing happened. <laughs> the exact same thing happened in Sapathra's Tavern My Series. Oh my gosh. Oh, and diamonds. This is just getting better all the time. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh baby, look at those diamonds come. Oh my goodness. That is glorious. How many do we got? Eight diamonds. All right, we're making a diamond pickaxe. We're getting some of this obsidian, and we are traveling to the nether in just a little bit. But that was sick. I cannot believe this. I will have to explore this in just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I cannot believe I found something like this. Wow. Well, I've definitely found a lot of good fortune along this way. Thank you guys so much. If you guys were giving me the feels here, I really do appreciate that. It's pretty awesome. Let me quickly throw away this flint. Don't really need it right now. And we'll collect up all this beautiful lapis because this is, of course, 1.8, and we will need that for our enchantments. All right. This looks so cool. What I mentioned for is the dungeon chests. They're, like, all over the place in here. Those would be really sick if I could find one of those. Oh, baby, we hit the jackpot on this one. I kid you not. <laughs> oh, man. This is beautiful. Well, I think everything's working out pretty well. I'm going to quickly finish exploring this. I will turn back on the recording if I find anything of interest. And, yeah, be right back. So I finally finished what I believe to be all the resource gathering for this episode, and I'm really excited to show you it all. It went absolutely fantastic. As you saw, I got some pretty cool little diamond mines, like a few diamond veins, and I found a little mine shaft in there, which I'm super pumped to show you all the amazing resources I got for that. It was incredible. I'll show you them all in just a second. It, it's, it's really exciting. And as you can also tell, I, got a, I, I'm, I made that diamond pickaxe, and I have enough for a nether portal. I'm going to light this baby up. Sadly, Flintsteel is not allowed on the server, so I had to go to the server shop and buy a fire charge. You can light it with this, and at least I believe you can light it with this, but let's hope that works. And now I'm going to show you this beautiful chest over here filled with all glorious goodies. Oh, it's going to be pretty exciting. All right, so as you can see here, we have five diamonds, 30 gold ingots, seven stacks of iron, you know, one stack of lapis, we have four stacks of redstone, and two stacks of coal. That is amazing. Probably one of the best mining trips I've ever had in all of Minecraft. I kid you not. I may have had a bigger diamond amount, but I've never gotten, like, over two stacks of iron in a mining trip. This is amazing. I'm so blown away. It went so well, and I'm just really happy how it all turned out. So as you can see, I smelted all this stuff down in these beautiful furnaces. This is going to be my little home base for now. I'm probably going to set up my house or my base somewhere in this area. I'm not totally sure yet, but yes, I'm really excited for this. This biome looks amazing. It's going to look really cool. Yes, but we what we do need is that beautiful nether quartz. So on ceremony here, we are going to light this lovely nether portal and make it glow all purpley. All right, I'm pumped, guys. We're going to go into the nether in just a little bit. I'm not sure if we have enough time for it today, but I will definitely do it next episode. Um, all right, let's check this out. Three, two, one. Boom, baby. There is the nether portal glowing all purply and swirly. All right, I'm super pumped for this. We're going to be heading out to the nether next episode. Sorry this episode is a bit short today. I did not really have the time. I just got back. I've got some school to do, a bunch of stuff to, you know, that's just going on. So, you know, give me some grace, guys. I'm really sorry. But, yes. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching episode one of 
my beautiful little multiplayer survival and I'm really excited for this series and if you are too make sure to hit that like button and just let me know what else you want to see in this series give me suggestions all that kind of stuff all that is insanely appreciated it is really awesome when you do that do when you do that kind of stuff uh, yeah and if you like this faithful texture pack that I'm using right now you know just tell me in the comments I really like it honestly it looks gorgeous it really complements the vanilla Minecraft look so I'm really excited for this um and once again, you know, if, if you don't like all this cutting, or if you do like this cutting, just let me know in the comments or something like that. Because it's going to definitely save a lot of time. Uh, I'll be able to get a lot more out there, um, you know, each week. Um, but it's not as personal, if you know what I mean. It's more of a professional uh, stance, you know, on, on everything. So yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching once again. Uh, tune in next time. I'll be posting these about once a week. The cutting and the editing is a bit more difficult than a standard Minecraft video. But yeah, I hear a zombie coming nearby before it gets to us. Might as well end off this video. Anyways guys, thank you so much, and I will see you all next time. Farewell!